What up, guys? So, uh, I've been working like crazy. And so much so that, like, my left hand was like, you know what? I'm tired. We did Blacktober. We've done at least five commissions through October and now the start of November. And my hand's like, you know what? I'm tired. And I can't take it anymore. And I was like, oh man, <laughs> I don't like this at all. Um, but I did rest my hand, gave it like a four day weekend. Um, even with the commission that I really need to complete, I was like, we'll draw an hour and then like all the rest of the hours I'm awake, hand, you just rest it up. We're gonna, gonna give you some Advil stat and we're gonna do something else we're gonna listen to podcasts and learn in other ways or listen to music and just chill out um don't be don't be upset when your body's like hey i've done enough for you give me this um so in the meantime my good old right hand <laughs> was free to create stuff which i found out was like really great um, I never thought of myself as being ambidextrous on the computer, um, but I do use my left hand to work on the tablet, but my right hand is really good with like simple shapes um, and just, you know, working on the computer itself. One of the guys on the Discord um, is having a, a Draw the Senior Style Challenge. And I was like, yes. Let's do this. Um, I really liked what everybody else was drawing, and I couldn't draw at the time, but I was like, oh, I'm so inspired, and I think I would like to give it a whirl and, you know, be cool for a second. <laughs> Get it done and support another artist. Um, I'm going to leave Bromo's information uh, in the links below if you would like to join. I think it ends like the second of December so like two weeks but anyway the guy's been been putting all type of artwork in the discord for his monster characters that are at a like a monster school or university and they all have reasons that they're trying to become uh, the next Grim Reaper which is pretty cool and there's tons of characters to like pick from and this character in particular, I have always liked her design. And like recently last week, I was like, oh man, it's because she reminds me of like a Bratz doll. Um, and I used to love my Bratz doll um, when I collected them. And so I was like, ah, oh, she is a, um, she's interested in fashion. And I was like, oh man, okay. So I'm going to do this. I have to do her. Um, I have to draw her and figure it out and I decided to make it an animation um I don't know what clicked to make that happen uh, I'm guessing it's because she is in fashion um but the style I was going for really is a throwback to my um Steven Universe Diamond Authority websites and I was like oh yeah it's perfect everything about it is just it's so nice and so I gave um, our little Discord a little sneak peek. They didn't know what it was for, but I was just like, hey, I'm doing this. <laughs> and they're like, oh, it looks cool already. And I just gave them like one pose. And I'm like, you guys, you're not ready. You're not ready for what I'm about to do. So the first step for this was figuring out the animation pose, um, which did take an hour of my resting day. Um, I used Procreate to like figure out the simple shapes first, um, blocking out like her head, um, how her legs would be, and just like the main shapes that I want to do for like each outfit. Um, gave her like a simple mouth pose, a simple hand pose, and also like this is my first time um, showing like a transition. Um, I don't know what to call it. It looks kind of blurred. I think it's like the third um illustration that i drew and i was like oh we got some animation techniques coming into illustrator um 
and it was kind of like work as I go um basically the websites are like my first time I would consider calling this puppeting um using like the same shapes over and over and then like either recreating them or editing them which I know is an animation technique um um just looking at the puppeting like even though I know it's not like it's not set up properly like a like a actual puppeting program would have um vectors do work best when you have like a smaller amount of vector points to make simpler shapes so that's why some of the shapes are do not have as many points or aren't as intricate and it makes it easier to move them around as I need them to. Like you'll see me edit like the jacket for when her hand needs to be her like her arm is raised. Um, but I did have a lot of like portion problems with the hand because they're not so specific and it became more about making sure they at least look the same whenever they were being moved around but you'll see how um how the sketch picture themselves are like in different poses and me just trying to copy as best as I can while making sure like the proportions of the character didn't change and that's why puppeting was so important um I also used at least three different shades of a color um you'll see like a darker purple um there's like three purples i think two blues um and three types of yellows that get used throughout um throughout the illustration to keep it like cohesive but also like this hand is further back this leg is further back and those are just design choices the hardest thing keeping up with were her, um, the wraps. Like, oh, I should have done less, <laughs> less wraps, but, um, it looks nice. Um, you'll see me, like, deciding which parts I need. Um, for instance, I edited boots on one illustration, but that also meant, like, since it had changed, I have to use like a different leg from a different illustration just to go back to like what she was actually supposed to look like so that um, it doesn't change too much. Um, similarly, there's a point where um, her legs are supposed to bend and because all the legs are straight up until then, I'm having to like figure out well, how does her leg bend? What's that gonna look like? And how to keep like her calf ratio the same. Um, and I also had to redo the um, mummy wraps. Um, the same thing happened when I made her stomach flat on, um, I think that's um, illustration number four, where she has like a, a side view um, instead of straight forward or no not walking so um that's some of the the problems that come with not being in an actual puppeting program um i don't know how i would be able to like make her turn for example or something like that that would take a lot longer um so if you're like an, a graph designer that also <laughs> wants to animate an illustrator um, wrapping your head around that is um, is just one of the challenges. Um, but the Pathfinder tool and the arrangement, uh, arranging things tool, are going to be your best friends. Um, none of these; these are all on one layer. Um, well, the top the top row is on its own layer, and then the bottom row has its own layer. Um, and so I've just been going back and forth and back and forth on that. Um, as you probably noticed, some of these outfits completely changed. Uh, I don't know why, because I don't know anything about fashion. But um, I just thought like, oh, it'd be better if, you know, this was the darker tan and I tried the 
the pharaoh um hat crown in a in a different way um a different color and now like seeing them all together i'm like oh well, yeah let's move this color somewhere else then and see what that looks like now but this was a ton of fun um highly recommend uh but yeah i'm really glad i decided to puppet like if i would have drawn this it would have taken so long to just like color each one repeatedly i'm i'm not so good at um doing repeat things and in, in procreate uh like i know you can like copy paste but like things change um and i'm not the best at that but this i'm like oh yeah let's i want to i kind of want to do this some more i also really don't have like a actual program to like put this in aside from procreate and these illustrations here are three by three um i really don't know why i picked this size like my stickers are sometimes three by three and i'm just like why did i do this but because it's vector um i can just you know make make the page bigger and then size up the illustrations like all together which is fine um but when I did test these out in Procreate, they were like so tiny, but I mean, that's all the little satisfaction I got. They're like, oh, she's moving. Oh, it looks great. Oh, the size, yes. Woo, good job. <laughs> she's fabulous. Um, right hand, you did a good job, man. But it's just nice seeing like the way you think, uh, which is why I'm really, I really love recording on the computer instead of procreate like all the decisions that i like zoom in and make like where my eye i like i can i can see the way i was thinking which i think is so important for if you're trying to learn to do something um or figure out mistakes that you made i know it's sped up like really fast um but it's it's really nice i'm so proud of myself um these are only like the first eight poses there ended up being 16 so i'm not even at like i'm halfway but i'm not done yet um i sent myself the file to see like the completed eight files to see what it looked like and it moved so wonderfully like if i had actual animation software i probably would be able to like pause on certain ones like i wanted to um but you know for I guess as as simple as this is or, uh, or you know me having no animation skills I'm so happy and proud <laughs> of myself um what else I feel like there was more I wanted to say but I just really wanted to share let you know what I was doing um just this little something that's not work um that I had for myself and I still have so much more to do but I'm glad that I have like this one thing to look forward to as I think about many other things um but I hope you guys are having a great day um and I hope you enjoy the video please like and check out my shop doodles
Thank you.